Hey guys and ladies, a special welcome to the ladies joining us today. Most people don't realize, but in the last few years, maybe five, six years, more than half the licenses given out every day across the country in the barbering field are given to women. So at the rate we're going in 10 years, it'll be a women dominated industry. So welcome ladies, glad to have you with us. In today's short video, we're going to be talking about how to dissect a question. And by that I mean, most of the time on your exam, the answer to the question is right in the question, if you just know where to look for it. The other thing you need to keep in mind is vocabulary. This test is largely a vocabulary test. Words you've probably never heard before you came to school, words you'll probably never use after you get your license, but words you can expect to see all over your test. So we're gonna talk about the vocabulary terms you need to know, and how to actually read the question so you see the answer. Now, I know most of you are probably getting ready to take your test and you're busy with school and work and possibly children. I'm gonna get right to the questions and keep these videos very short. And I'll be reading the questions to you for a simple reason. These are the questions directly from the Barber State Board exam. Question number one says, there are many types of contagious fungal infections of the face that cause problems for barbers when shaving a client. Which of the following is not an example of a contagious fungal facial infection? Answer A says barber's itch. Answer B says tinea barbie. Answer C is tinea psychosis. And answer D is honeycomb ringworm. Now the answer is D, honeycomb ringworm. If you read the question carefully, it says which of the following is not an example of a contagious fungal facial infection. If you don't read the answers clearly, you'll see, oh, Barbara's itch, answer A, that's the question, good, move on. But you would be wrong. And you can risk failing your test by one point. Remember, in most states, 75 is passing, 74 is failing. Remember, the question asked you which of the following is not an example. It didn't ask you which of the following is an example. This is a perfect example of a negative question, of which there will be two or three on your test. This is why people will always tell you, read the question slowly and carefully, and be sure that what you think it says is what it really said. Okay. The next question, question number two, which of the following will permanently eliminate split ends? Answer A, hot oil treatment. Answer B, deep conditioning treatment. Answer C, cutting the hair. Answer D, apply a leave-in conditioner. And the answer is C, cutting the hair. Again, if you look at the question closely, it says which of the following we will permanently eliminate split ends. A, B, and D will all help split ends. They'll make the hair look better. The split ends won't be as obvious, but it won't permanently correct them. To permanently correct split ends, you have to cut them off. There's no other choice. Finally, question three. Which of the following is an effective treatment to permanently relieve trichoctylosis? Again, answer choice A, hot oil treatments, Answer B, deep conditioning treatment. Answer C, cutting the hair. And answer D, le apply a leave-in conditioner. Once again, the answer is C, cutting the hair. Trichoptolosis is a very fancy medical term you'll probably never use again in your career that means split ends. As I said a minute ago, the test is about vocabulary. If you don't understand trichoptolosis, you can't answer the question. Once you realize, oh yeah, that's hair, you have to cut off the split ends. When you see the letters on your test, T-R-I-C-H, this is the Greek word for hair. And so much of our system, legal, medical, and our industry, we have Greek and Latin words. T-R-I-C-H is hair for the Greeks. I'm gonna wrap this up right here. I told you to be short. Please come back for future videos. We'll try to keep them all under five minutes. Subscribe below to our website. And if you want to know more information, just go to our website, cosmetologystateboardexam.com, and we hope to see you again soon. Thank you.